Hello friends, welcome back to this session. So in today's session, we are going to understand the Docker Compose orchestration with the multiple containers. So that was uh, many requirements comes from the our users. They wants to the have the some demo which having the multiple Docker's run using the Docker Compose, and that should be have the some live example. So here we are taking the very live example in this session. So let's try to understand what's are uh, in the today's session. The what we'll understand what is the Docker Compose uh, real time use case. Uh, step by steps our POC part uh, benefits are using the docker compose and final thoughts let's see uh, so what is the docker compose so the docker compose is a utility or a framework that actually help us to the run the multiple dockers at a time so docker we run as a single application but while I want to run the multiple application I should use the docker compose that basically helps to the orchestrate all the docker at one go so you want to run the two docker images or 20 docker images that it's fine using the docker compose so that is basically helping to the uh, handle the all the docker images at one time so here this is the one of the real time use case so i want to uh, have the some uh, applications like uh, uh, backend uh, uh, database and a client so that uh, uh, front end application so that can be helpful here to handle the three docker container and that can manage through the docker compose so in the one go so centralized management with the, all the docker container which application is running you can handle you can control and you can monitor so this is basically helps here very unique way docker compose so in today's uh, the example we'll basically have the, our application docker compose which is our control file uh, backend and there is a the, uh, there is a uh, js file which handle the backend and there is a configuration file package uh, package json that help us to the uh, dependent installation package file so let's move to our code part so let's see the code side the backend side what is our code structure and uh, we'll we'll try to run the uh, locally here the docker compose and we'll see the uh, ui basically post run that is running or not so let's see uh the structure is what we explained that's we have three two directory backend and front end at high level uh we'll go through this one uh, and uh, meanwhile i let me update you uh you'll also get the github url i'll post to this changes into github so if you want to go through the details you can go through that uh, repo and you can do checkout and you can try to build your locally also okay so the backend will basically contains the docker file here you can see that's a basic docker file we are taking the node.js installing the npm package and we are exposing our backend in the port 5000 similarly if you go with the front end front end also have the docker file that is also starting here you can see and that's installing and we are starting at the front end part so front end by default port is there and uh, you see the docker uh, compose file here we are uh, mainly orchestrated our configuration part so here basically you see the front end app that is we are exposing with the port 3000 uh, backend app that is we are exposing the port 5000 we made some url also that we did use for the db connect and here the, the port configuration for the mongodb so this is the basic configuration there are some files like in routes so user routes uh, index.js uh, that's basically contain the apis connection packages and that's a basically dependency handling here in the app.js uh, index css and uh, index Yes, that is also uh, required for the front end part and similar package JSON. So this is basically easy to understand part. Uh, let me run here and let's see. Uh, so basically, you see impo uh, the Docker compose command basically Docker compose up, and I'll do the dash dash build. That's actually doing the two part, it, making the compose uh, that's all Docker file up. Uh, sorry, all Docker container up, and it's do the build along with that. So let's see so you can see the build is started it will pull the image then it will start the build one build is done it we can go through the ui and check the basically the connection between the what uh, we have configured front end and developer both should be working fine okay so you can see the uh, this uh, configuration part is done you can see and started the build part you can see so let's see uh, on the uh, ui side so first we'll going to connect our 3000 port that is our uh, front end here i'm just okay so bingo this is the our uh, react uh, front end message that's come from the, our application you can see 
and uh, similar way we can uh, can just access the 5000 port from the backend part also so this is uh, you can see i just replace this part but you can see it's pulling the data from the backend here so that's the backend part here the ls and the bob name comes from the backend uh, mongodb so this is very simple example you can go through the docker compose you can connect you can connect with your front end you can connect with your back end and i'll say this github url you can explore more and uh, let us know if you need any specific use case for the development or any project purpose we will try to make the same video for you and uh, till time uh, have a great day thank you thank you for watching this video and please do not forget to like share subscribe thank you